What up, meatbags? Deanbot the Machine Bot here. Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 7. Alright, we're taking out all sorts of uglies, kicking ass, taking names, opening up stuff. More of those, huh? I got so many of these now. I should start using them at some point, I would think. Alright. So we're still looking for Eevee. Looks like there's an item in here. Ah, in the sink. That explain why I missed that. Probably heading back to Allen. Woof. You know what? I don't need to go that way that badly. So let's head back to what's his face. Which should be just on the other side of the hallway here. Well, now where'd he go? Alan? Alan, where the hell are you? Running off on me, eh? Probably not your wisest move. Let's see. Yep, I gotta go through there. All sorts of noises going on. I don't care for it. I mean, it's my fault. I'm, I'm kicking around cans and such. I'm not going to talk about the things that are my fault here, though. Okay. So this is the same room we're in currently while we're watching myself do this stuff. There's Alan. One sec, Alan. Be right with you. How did you get here? Where's he been? She's out of control. Without the treatment, Pretty much. Not the most positive outlook, but all right. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts me. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Alan, okay. I 
hell? Oh, what the? Oh, God. Okay. Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Okay. All right, then. Oh, God. No, I'm covered in that stuff. What I can only assume is mold? <laughs> and the sample went missing. This is where she sent that email. Yep, the one from the beginning. Okay. She pretty much comprised a goodbye letter. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, yeah, that's what happened. Oh, damn. Interesting. So we were still in... She was still in the ocean when that ship fell apart. How in the hell did they make it to the bayou? Hmm. So they didn't come under attack by anyone else or anything like that. They were... She escaped and she just went berserk. I mean, if you're a test subject most of your life being developed as a bioweapon, I get the feeling when you break out of confinement, you may just go a little berserk. I mean, that's just a theory. Call me crazy. Alright, gotta wait for it to reload so we can get back to the ship. We still gotta try to find Ethan. Yep. 
Okay. Shit, I ended up overriding what would be a previous, and now, well, shit. Oh, well, it looks like we'll only do the one ending, but that's okay. If you ever get the opportunity, just remember to do the double save and see how the alternate ending goes. I'll do that on my own later on as well, and I'll see if I can't get that part recorded, but for the most part, due to time constraints, I'll probably stick to just this particular story. And then we'll continue on to the DLC for the Chris Redfield add-on. I know, spoilers, sorry about that. You do bump into Chris Redfield at the end of this game. Contents have been taken. E neck neck toxin? Just Wow, that is all sorts of mumbled. But it looks like there's some sort of necrotoxin or something like that. Something that can actually kill her. Requiring a lockpick? Say word? Some gunpowder finally, alright. Combine with that. Give me some bullets. There we go, that's a comforting feeling. Let's see here. Looks broken. <laughs> he couldn't have gotten that email even if I wanted him to have it. Hmm. Need some of that dim dare floor me uh, door melting stuff. Pray this right open. Hmm. Up it is then. There we go. This is the bridge. Gunpowder. I like it. Yeah, this is just some big ass tanker. All that just to haul one person. I mean, they really cared about their experiment, but. It makes me wonder, was Neo Umbrella responsible for the development of this? Or is there something else going on now? Captain's cabin here. There's a ship map, excellent. And the lug wrench, oh okay, for the top of the elevator. Excellent. Hmm. Need a key for that so I can get the machine gun, huh? Probably be a good idea.
another herb excellent let's keep exploring the ship a little bit Did you hear that? It sounded like a bobblehead. Because it was a bobblehead. Look at this guy. Smug little bastard. Uh, and this was the other side of the captain's quarters. Okay. Not captain's quarters, but the uh, bridge here. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Pooey. Maybe it still works. Oh. Yep, this was where we were. This is the elevator. This is... I don't know what this is. Oh! I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. It's in the bottom level, huh? <laughs> Shit! Stop it, Evelyn! Okay. Fucking hallucinations. Where is she? That was a hallucination. Interesting. So she's not really seeing her. So that would mean it probably is that grandma then. There we go. I didn't care for that one bit. Do I need level two or level three? Try level two for a second here. A knife. Well, all right. A knife sure beats the hell out of having your bare hands. Not the preferred method, but. report suggested if Evelyn remains at her current yeah this was the notice that I had all those years ago man still here huh thank you another corrosive I'm gonna go ahead and put that in storage the door in the elevator or not elevator but in the stairs elevator we have the dining room here
Gunpowder. I like gunpowder. Herb. Growing out of a chair. Well, that's unique. Hmm. One open. Some sort of matchup. Let's go ahead and shut the door for now. But what does it all mean? So you can't move the ones over here. So if we put this one like this and have the green red like that, then I just need the purple in this corner like that. Oh, okay, yeah. More corrosives, all right. So I got four corrosive now, that's rad. I had a feeling I'd run into more of you. Wow. Well, at least enough of them can hit you. This is pretty much where it all started. So that's pretty much everywhere except the bunk room and one other room over here. I'll be back to this room. Because I think I know where that's going to go. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, that's pretty awesome. So the remote bombs work incredibly well. Gunpowder, nicey nice. Sixteen years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. It's been sixteen years since Raccoon City at this point. Oh man. Fine. Here we go. Burn away. Now get out of my way. Another remote bomb. Very nice. Wait, what'd you just grab out of there? A strong chem fluid. Ooh. Key to the captain's room. That must be for that locker. You 
calcified and broke apart, I see. He's definitely not coming back. There we go. Pretty cool that they threw the Raccoon City uh, little drop in there about it. Just a little reference to the horrors. Lockpick! There we go. Hey, I see you. Okay, now I should be able to get back up to the fourth floor through the stairs over here, shouldn't I? Then from there, I gotta get back down to the bottom floors where I gotta bump into those two uglies down there that are still waiting for me to come back. Let's see here. Right, because I can't go through there since that's blocked off. So I need to go from the third floor to the elevator. Then I should be able to climb up to the fourth floor. Before I do that... I can lockpick this. Nice. Another coin. Right on. You can absolutely go away. Hmm. A door I can't interact with? Well, that's odd. And this is where I originally fell out of the boat. It was right here. It says exit, but in reality, this looks like a bathroom. Yeah, that's the shower room, and this is the sick bay. Big fat bastard. <sighs> All right. A power cable? Perhaps this can be used elsewhere. I'll take that. Didn't even know I needed it. <laughs> the corrosive. All right, let's get moving. Yeah, that door must be completely obliterated or something.
All right. So we're going to head back now, I suppose. Got to take my long trek back now. Can't even see the house from here. This was weird. And by the house, I mean the Baker Estate, of course. Alrighty. Let's get back up to the fourth floor real quick. And I'm gonna get into the captain's quarter and get that machine gun. I thought I should have more than enough armaments and ammunition to make it through the rest of this. God, I cannot describe how much I hate you things. Ones that crawl around on the ground like that to give me the willy something awful. I think it's because they're very bug-like when they do that. Ugh, I hate bugs. Okay. What? Thought you were going to sneak up on me while I was activating a key? Is that what you think? No, well, that's what I think of ya. Oh, that was the power cable. I'm an idiot. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oof. Takes that drop very well, though. I'll give her props. That's right. I remember y'all chasing me around here in the beginning. Doesn't feel good now, does it? Life jacket. Not sure why that's relevant. Here we go. Documentation. Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one nice thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What is he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Well, Jim... You had the right idea. So 
so they were deposed as her parents. But at the same time, I mean, eh, it didn't really make a lot of sense. And I guess it wouldn't have when you think about it in retrospect. So there is another one walking around out there. Let's see. Die, creepy. All right, to the recreation room. Get that all melted up. Backpack space. Hell yes, I can carry more items now. That's the good shiz. More boomies. Okay. Now, the only difficult part left is trying to find my way to the basement. So let's head over to the stairs. Maybe I can get down there from here. Doesn't look like it. Although I've been down there once before. When I first got on this ship. So let's head down here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, not going that way. Hmm. Need to make it back to S2 somehow. I'm trying to remember from my time in here... Like, we always just use the elevator, but I don't know if I can use the elevator this time. Let me take a look, actually, because I didn't think about the fact that I jumped down here. I mean, I can climb up, but... Hmm. How is, is there another way down to S2 besides the elevator? I do have a power cable. I wonder if the elevator can be... Brought back with that. Luis, the cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to use it to fix something in the third floor sick bay. You're going to have to go ask Dr. Waddle for it. I'm needed down in the number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working, Dwayne. Yes, indeed, that is what I was supposed to do. We need that fuse as well. Whoops, not what I meant to do. My bad. Alright, so I'm almost good. Just gotta double back a little bit here. So I can snag up this thing. There we go.
Back up we go. There we are. Slap that fuse in here. Right there. And slap that cable right there. Yeah! And down the floor S2 we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Making progress. He's waiting. Is he now? So, long answer short, yes, I'm fairly certain even if you picked Zoe, you'd be playing as Mia right here. Yeah, I see you up there. Come on, dripping down, Ugly. Because playing as Mia has actually revealed some very important information. There may just be a difference in how the gameplay or the ending is affected. Because I'm, I'm racking my memory right now trying to remember that ending because I'm fairly certain I've seen it before. And if I'm not mistaken, what ends up happening if you pick Zoe, it ends in a horrifying ending actually. Not horrifying as in like jump scarish or anything like that. Just a horrifying concept. Music's still intense, so I'm trying to watch my back here. Alright, up is explosive. Up is explosive. One of you, huh? Ugh, I hate you things. Got so many of these explosives in my bag, I'm almost obligated to use them at this point. Damn. <laughs> Just regenerating there, are you? Yep, that's a big one. Deceptive fat bastard. Mm. 
You got this girl. Hang in there just a little longer. Couple more boomers, very nice. Oh yeah. Not now, I'm a little busy. Got to get him out of there. <clears throat> Who the hell? Ethan. Whoa, hey. Hmm. Interesting. So whatever Evelyn is. Whoa. So if I'm hearing her and seeing her now, that means I'm infected too. <sighs> Mia. Infected again. Mia, no! Hmm. Let me get to a storage container and get my stuff bed. Interesting. It's all your fault. I 
I mean, how's it my fault? Aren't didn't you want me to show up? I think you're the one who brought me here. I don't see how I'm the bad guy all of a sudden. Mother of God. That is a lot of dead fish. I do not even want to begin to fathom the horrible smell that must be in that location right there. Helicopter. What the hell? Gotta get my stuff back. And then we gotta find EV01. EV001. Who I sincerely believe is Graham Graham at this point. And we gotta hit her up with this stuff that Mia just gave me. Abercrombie Salt Mine. Salt Mine? Yeah, that's a helicopter, all right. Are they watching us from that helicopter? But who? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Board. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Analyst? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. Hmm. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. I'm not the only one after her. Well, that makes my life a little easier, doesn't it? There's a lab here. All right then. We've got our objective. Last minute buys, huh? Okay. And I've got Mia's stuff too? Well, all right. Let's get some first aid meds. Let's get the antique coins. Grenade launcher and flame rounds. The M19 handgun. The M21 shotgun and the 44 mag. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells. I'll hold off on the machine gun for now simply because I'm alright with what I got here. I can use the remote bombs too, that's pretty sweet. Oh, my time is up. I'm really getting into this, so. <laughs> Enhanced ammo. Handgun ammo. Alright, I think we're doing pretty good with that right there. And we'll be able to come back to the stash anytime we need to. Alright, let me go ahead and feed some coins to the machines here. And if I find three more coins, I'll be back. All right, that should do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoy what you've seen so far. If you are, feel free to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Later, meatbags.